Hello, in this episode I'd like to show you what happens uh, when you create uh, a column in a list or a document library which is yes no and then you change it to something else like a choice. So um, I'm in a team site, I'll create a document library and let's call it test and we'll, we have it. Now I'll, I will create uh, several folders. Let's call it folder one and folder two. Um, I will create a new column, which is uh, a yes, no. And the default I'll set to no. Um, I press OK. And um, actually now if I uh, create a new document and I will just uh, get out of it or give it a new name. Here we go. Now if I hit go here and I will assign oh I will go to quick edit and I will mark it as, as yes. Okay, everything I, I see I I see here a checkbox. If I go and uh, to column settings and change the format, I can um, see that it marks the green as um, as a yes and a no as a as a red one. Okay. Um, now, what happens is if I, for instance, uh, change this type of column, I'll go to column settings, and I will edit it and say instead of that it will be a yes and no column, I'll change it to a choice. So you see, I have choice one, two, and three. I'll press save. You notice that the the yes still remains as a, um, as number one. Now, if I try to, for instance, uh, download this document and re uh, re upload it, so I'll go download it and let's try to re upload it in a different folder. Test one. You see, it uploaded it actually with uh, some value which is true. Now this has changed. Now if I edit it, and in this case I will edit it in uh, the app, not in the web. I might get a message that first of all I need to log in, and secondly it will tell me that something with a property is not okay. Here we are. And you see requires pro property. So I can go to the edit property and if I choose the, the updated values then I will be able to to do the change. See, but if if I keep the old value it will cause some problem. So now I can continue and uh, so the, the message is actually here uh, for instance if you have changed the yes no column to a choice you it's most recommended that you also um, change uh, all of the values to the new values so instance if I go here and I if there were many I could mark several and I will just change it to the new value instead of true it will be choice one you see it has changed also here here it's already updated so be aware um, and uh, sometimes when when 
Microsoft gives us to change uh, the column type, um, it forgets to remind us also to to change the old value. So this is it, and uh, if you like my